Samsung has just announced their biggest partner yet, Alluvium. That's right, Samsung is partnering with Alluvium. Is that not the best news you've ever heard? This is going to pump up Samsung stocks to the nth degree. Like seriously, Alluvium is the biggest game that is going to ever be released. And now it is partnering with one of the biggest technology companies in the world. It's a company that I've been very fond of for a very long time. Had a Samsung phone for ages, Samsung TVs, and just Samsung everything. They've literally branched out into every piece of technology you could think of. And now they are partnering with Alluvium. And this is just literally a match made in heaven. As we can see here, they are bridging the worlds, the Alluvium and Samsung Synergy, as we love to see in Alluvium. Synergies is what gets you the win. In an era where the line between digital and physical increasingly blurs, Alluvium proudly announces a partnership with Samsung, a titan of innovation, as they are touching on right there, digital and physical, like VR, XR, AR, all of the R's. Arr, let's fuck. Let's go. Let's go. It's a convergence of two uniforces, each at the forefront of their respective industries. Exactly right. The partnership combines Samsung's unparalleled technology with the breathtaking universe of Alluvium. It is a testament to the power of collaboration and promises to introduce our community to a new dimension of engagement and immersion. Exactly, again, talking about that immersion. That is what all the R's are going to be. That reality. As we blend Samsung's innovative technology with Alluvium's intricate world-building we're not just bringing two worlds, we're expanding the boundaries of what's possible. Fusion of these universes promises to enhance your Alluvium experience, bringing the virtual and real into closer harmony. The journey ahead is charged with potential, and they're just scratching the surface at what this partnership can unlock. Stay connected as we explore the infinite possibilities born with the collision of these two worlds. Exactly, and we're not just exploring new worlds, we're creating them. Yes, this is one of the biggest moves that I could see Alluvium doing. Like seriously... Alluvium is already creating such an amazing universe, but to join forces with Samsung that is literally on the forefront of technology is pushing the boundaries. We're going to have a look at some of the technologies that like Samsung already has right now and how we can implement Alluvium into those and how it's going to build us, get more eyes on the game and just build this project together and just really catapult us to the stratosphere even higher than what we're already expecting. Looking from the outside, this partnership really opens doors to access to technology that like Alluvium and that wouldn't have access to if they weren't partnered with one of these huge technological giants. And I believe Samsung's one of the best ones. Like Apple's probably the biggest technology company in the world. Well, if we have a look over here, the largest tech companies in 2022, I know it's 2024 now, but whatever. Apple is the biggest one, 3.78 billion sales and $2.6 trillion market value. That is absolutely unbelievable. I can't like I know Apple sells more products or more phones than Samsung does, but Samsung has such a wider variety of things that they sell. I'm very surprised that Apple does that much more sales. Well, there's 100 billion, 150 billion more sales. Then you've got Alphabet Inc. I'm not sure what that is. Microsoft, obviously that makes 100%. They are absolutely massive and been around forever. And then Samsung at number four. Out of all these top fours, Microsoft and Samsung would be the two that I would pick out as what I would love Alluvium to be with. Samsung would be my first pick, then it's Microsoft. But either way, this is opening up portals for us to just be in the eyes of more people. So some of the things that have already hinted with this partnership would be putting Alluvium onto their Samsung gaming hub. As you can see here, it's just cloud gaming. If you have a TV, a smart TV that Samsung produces, you can get this gaming hub on there. And it comes, well, I'm pretty sure you have to buy this controller. But you can just go on, download a part of the game. You don't have to download the whole thing. You don't need to have a gaming console or anything like that. You just play through the cloud. And the, as you can see, there's Xbox Game Pass is a part of this already. The controller looks very much like an Xbox controller. Come along, you've got Fortnite, which is on there. Boosteroid, I don't know what that is. But there's so many other games. As you can see here, Minecraft, some Ninja Mutant Turtles, Halo... Forza, like there's some uh, massive games already onto the Samsung Gaming Hub. Think about, like it's a fairly niche market at the moment, I know that, but this cloud gaming is only going to get bigger. I know NVIDIA has this as well, and now Samsung has it. I'm sure that other companies are also going to be bringing this in very, very soon. It says play with your favorite controller. Maybe you can play with the PlayStation 1. I'm not sure. I don't have it. I wish I did. I'm moving into a new house soon, so maybe I can uh, convince my missus to buy a new Samsung TV as well. But having this in our back pocket, put Alluvium up there, put it at the front of the line, or new games, boom, there's Alluvium, it'll look amazing, it'll be in the faces of any person that already uses this Samsung Gaming Hub, hopefully put it on the video one as well at down the track, but for now, this Samsung Hub, I'm like, 
Samsung collaboration is absolutely amazing. As you can see, NVIDIA GeForce is a part of the game streaming service anyway. Xbox there. I'm not sure how quickly or if Alluvium is going to get onto gaming consoles, but if Xbox is already on Samsung, maybe there's a bit of collaboration there and we get on Xbox as well. As I hinted before, like the VR, AR, XR, all of those different R's that Samsung's been talking about, Meta's looking into, like that technology is something that Alluvium does not have in their back pocket to just go ahead and just trial, know exactly what the specs are going to be for the future ones. Now that they have this partnership, maybe Samsung can tell them a little bit about what's coming, what are the specs going to be in the future. Can we trial our game on a new headset, see what it looks like, tweak it, and actually get the best feedback possible to make the game as seamless as possible whilst you're putting those goggles on. Because I feel like that's the hardest thing with all of these new games is once you put the goggles on, it is a whole different feel to when it's on your computer or when it's on your phone. And having access to the like cutting edge technology at your fingertips because you're in a partnership with them, you will get the best game out of it. And I think that will just like boost us even quicker into being compatible with all of these VRs. And then if you already got it on a Samsung Gaming Hub, Maybe you buy the Samsung VR, and as soon as you put that on, have a look at the menus, boom, Alluvium's already preloaded into the headset. And have a look at YouTube. Why is YouTube so big? There's not many other contenders. Yeah, there is, but when you buy any phone, YouTube is already on there. You don't have to go anywhere to download it. It's, it's right there in your hands. No one's going to choose anything different because it's too easy. If Alluvium is right there, more people will try and play it. The more people that try and play it, the more that will stay. Yes, you get a lot of people leaving it because they probably don't want to play it, but more people playing it, getting their eyes in front of it, the better. We'll go down a little bit of a different road and a bit of theory crafting and what they could potentially do, like, other than just using the technology that Samsung has. Well, it's, all, it's, it's still technology, but Samsung Galaxy AI is here. They've got their own AI. I know that, like, Aaron and that have been working on some AI to help with the auto battler and all of that kind of stuff. But maybe they can do some AI that Galaxy has here, like the chatting between people and whatever else is there. So when you go and talk to NPCs in the world, it's an actual conversation you're having with them and like actually implement AI into the game. So you're having proper conversations with the people. I'm not sure if this was already thought about within Alluvium or gaming. I know gaming as an aspect, this is like ne the next frontier kind of thing. And you go on a quest and you actually interact with the NPCs. But maybe we get the hop, skip, and a jump on our game right here because Galaxy AI is here. It's a thing. We're partnered with them. So this is another really good in. So if we go across this top line up here, the first one we come at is mobile. Simple. Again, have it preloaded onto the phone. This would be Illumium Zero at first. And then once the arena is on there, then the Illumium Arena be on there as well. Again, if it's already on there, more people are going to play it. They're going, oh, what is this? Oh, let's have a look at what it is. If they don't like it, they can just uninstall it. Sweet. But it's already there. People are going to want to play it. They're going to be looking at it. TV and AV, as we already talked about, it should be already preloaded onto games into that Samsung Cloud Gaming. That is a, such a big tick. Such and such a big tick. Because even if it's not a kid that's buying that TV, adults like me that buy that TV, that grow up with Pokemon, they see this. They go, hmm, let's have a look at this. They don't need to wait for anything. It's already there. They just jump on. They play. And away they go. The game's free anyway. They're not paying for anything. Obviously, you can pay for stage one, stage two, stage three runs, but they've got to stay, do stage zero first anyway. So it's all free. Why not? Home appliances. This is where we can get a little bit of fun with it. Refrigerators. Why not install Alluvium on the fridge TV? Why not? Or you can have some wallpapers already installed onto the TV on the fridge. Give away these Alluvium styled fridges or laundry. Alluvium styled washing machine that has like heaps of water alluvials on the front of it. The refrigerator could have some joton and uh, slappens all across it because it's cold you know air purifiers could have a really decorated like stylized wind piece on the front of that vacuum cleaners if like seriously you, you go absolutely nuts with it i don't think they're going to go down this road because it's just most people are not going to want this but the collaboration with such big companies like this the things that you could think up that you could do is absolutely ridiculous I love just thinking about these things and it just opens new doors and new avenues for Alluvium to just burst onto the scene even better. Cooking appliances, air conditioners, like seriously, all of those things you could, I doubt that they will go down that line, but I don't know, just some fun things to think about. Where I definitely think they will do stuff, computer monitors, memory and storage, like 
all of these things you can have at Luvium themed. Simple. Literally so simple. These computer monitors, again, you can have on the Samsung thing as you load it up. I know monitors don't have storage on them, but memory cards, USBs, all this, you could put some sort of Alluvium onto it or have just an Alluvium styled USB or monitor or something like that. It's super simple, super easy to do, and it probably wouldn't even cost that much more. Display, I'm guessing these are just computer monitors again. Accessories, this is just like phone cases and stuff, and I think this is like a non-negotiable thing that they kind of have to do. Just have some Alluvium based phone cases, phone chargers, some watches, tablet cases. Like I know that they're going to do these things anyway and they might sell them in the Alluvium store, but if you've partnered with Samsung, you could have it up here as their accessories. In the end, no one knows what this is going to encapsulate just yet. And it is seriously, when you have a look at what Nick has said, which I'll bring it up right now. As you can see right behind me here, Nick says it is open-ended. The initial phases include Alluvium available in homes globally from Smart TVs. Exactly what I said. There is scope for cloud gaming, VR, and the whole bit. So there is a massive scope there. It seems like it is open-ended. If it goes well at the start, I think that this could literally, it could be anything. Samsung does so much, and if they see the value in having Alluvium onto their TVs, in their phones, in their iPads, everything, not iPads, <laughs> in their laptops and uh, whatever else there is, then I can see this going so far. But this could be the biggest collaboration in the Web3 gaming sector, hands down. I think, I think it already is. If there's any bigger that you know of, let me know down below, but I think that is about it. And let's go Alluvium and Samsung. Woo!